In the healthcare space, in the pharmaceutical space, there are real problems, real challenges of finding new therapeutics in a cost-effective way. The traditional mode, or as we refer to a dogma of drug discovery, is long, it's wrought with a lot of attrition or failure, it's expensive. Despite the fact that we are amassing tremendous amounts of knowledge, we need to be humble in terms of the amount of uh, information that we still don't have. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right Meal Your Discovery has a principal mission around drug repositioning, that is finding new uses for existing drugs. And most particularly, this would be discontinued clinical stage candidates, that is drugs that made it into the clinic but were discontinued from the clinic for reasons other than safety. And so that motivates one to push towards phenotypic screening. The specific process of phenotypic screening that we've coined, Theratrace, involves in about a 10-week period taking those molecules and testing them in about 40 different models that represent atherosclerosis, uh, various metabolic diseases including diabetes, dermatological uh, indications, and so on and so forth. So very broad spectrum of uh, disease states and evaluating them across the, all those models. It's really an alternative and a complement to the, to the hypothesis-driven method. Of those ones that we choose, about one in three fill the criteria of being new drug candidates in as far as we find a potential therapeutic application that was not predicted otherwise for which we think we can get patents and it would be commercially viable therefore for uh, us or for a, a drug company as a very cost-effective, time-effective way to find new drug candidates. Nobody is taking the, the sort of approach that we have in Theratrace. The grand learning that we've had as a company doing this is the frequency with which these very well studied molecules that have, in all cases, they've had tens of millions of dollars worth of research and years of research, the frequency with which we uncover completely unexpected uh, alternative new uses.